Hey everyone, here is a question from exercise 11.1. This is second question and the chapter is perimeter and area of a class 7 maths. The question here is, find the area of a square park whose perimeter is 320 meter. So we have given only one thing to us which is perimeter which is 320 meter. We have to find out the area of square park. Now, since we have given that park is in shape of square, we're going to use a formula of perimeter of square. So, let's write down what is given. So, given perimeter of square park is equal to 320 meter. This is given to us. Now, we know that perimeter of square park or the perimeter of square is 4 into side, right? So, we're going to write down. 4 into or 4 into side you can write down or you can write down 4 into side of park anything so side of square park is equal to 320 meter now we have to find out here side first so that we can find the area so what we're going to do we don't want 4 on the left hand side we're going to transpose this 4 to the right hand side so, when you're transposing a number which is in multiplication to the other side comes in division. So, 4 goes to the division here. So, side of square park will be equal to 320 divided by 4. Now, you can cancel this or you can divide this. I'm going to do the cancellation. So, we can cancel directly in 4 table. 4 ones are 4 twos are 8, 4 eights are 32 and then 0 we get 80 meter. So, side of square park is 80 meter. We got the side of square here. Now, when we know the side, we can able to find out the area. So, area is nothing but side square. Yeah. So, area of square park will be side into side or you can write down side square. That is side whole square. So, side we know it is 80, right? So, 80 meter multiplied by 80 meter. Now, when you multiply 80 and 80, so 8 8 is 64, you can multiply the number and then you can put two zeros or you want to multiply, you can multiply it. So, the simple way is multiplying the number 8 8 is 64 and then two zeros we have, just put two zeros there. So, it is 6400. So, it will be 6400 meter square and you multiply meter into meter, it will become meter square. So that's it. We got the answer. I hope this is clear. In case you have further question or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.